Hello, today we have a Kodak Hero 9.1 uh, all-in-one printer, scanner, faxer, um, copier. And the problem with this printer is it's, if I tip it up here, it's leaking ink out of the bottom. We can see right there, it's leaking out of this side. If we open, move the paper tray, you can see it leaking even more up in there. Especially right there. I suspect that um, this is going to be an easy fix. I suspect that uh, the ink tray, which lays right here, is probably full and it's just overflowing um, because I don't see any cracks down here or anything. Um, normally, you know, when the printer goes through its cleaning cycles, it'll dump some ink into the the where the ink the ink tray down here uh, so it can clean itself for maintenance reasons um, so I just suspect that it's full and needs cleaned out so we will take this thing apart and I'll show you how to do that all right first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and then we're going to open up the uh, access panel here to get to your ink in the printer head and the ink uh, most likely your printer head will be in the home position, which is on this side, the left side. Once it goes through its startup phase, it'll move it out so you can access the ink. And then we will remove the ink. And then the next, after we remove the ink, we will go ahead and remove this uh, scanner. Oh, it's a good thing I had this ARAD message actually popped up. Uh, you also have to take off the the back cover part that rolls the paper over. Sometimes it's a duplex or sometimes it's not. Um, so you'll have to take that off. So I got this error message. But then, you know, this the ink cartridge came out. And then, or the, the um, cradle here came out. And you can just remove the ink. And then unplug it. And then we can start taking it apart. Okay, to remove the scanner first, we have to disconnect the wiring. There's a little um, panel here that you just push this clip on. It's on the uh, right side of the printer, if you're facing the printer. You just pop that off. Then you'll want to remove this bundle here, which is to this connector right here. And pull that off. There's a grounding wire that's hooked onto this frame right here. Just pull that off. And then of course the ribbon cable, which is plugged into the this brown one right here. Disconnect that, and then all your connections are free. Okay, once you push it in on that pin, the scanner the scanner will drop a little bit, and then you have to do it on both uh, hinges. You can tip it forward, and it'll uh, wiggle free. See if I can get this. There it goes. And you just do this with both sides, and you can just take the scanner off and set it aside. Okay, once you get the scanner off, you can go ahead and push the, the hinges back down. And there'll be two, uh, one in each, a Phillips screw down in the hinge. You take those out, and the hinge will just slide right out. Okay, and once you get that off, there are six Phillips head screws to take out. There's one down in there. One down in there, I already took them out, that's why there's just holes. And there's one in there, one down in here, and one here, and one on the other side, right there. And go ahead and take those out. Okay, next we're going to take off the front panel with your USB port and your camera card port here. We're going to take off this panel here. And from the other side, there's two little tabs, you can see them right there that you push it on and then this part pops right off. Okay, with the unit turn around, you're gonna take off the panel here that is uh, near the uh, power port and USB port and the phone line and the network port. You just pry at the top and you stick a screwdriver in there and pry it out and that one comes right out. Okay, once you get all those covers and screws off, the uh, the cover here is pretty much loose. You just have to remove the ribbon cable here, this one that plugs into this one. 
it's got a little plastic the brown part is the lock there so you have to lift that up to pull this off that goes to your front panel and then you have to unplug this yellow one and after that it just basically it lifts off you want to kind of lift it off from the uh, lifting from the back first because your USB thing down here sticks really far out so if you lift it straight up you're gonna damage this so tip it from the back forward and you'll be able to get it around there okay and once you get the cover off you can see the internal components of the printer your uh, motherboard mainboard whatever you want to call it is back here and your USB um, ports right there um, right here is where the uh, the ink is dumped so this is what we'll be working um, the first thing I want to do is to remove this top thing it's just a little plastic piece that's held in by two little clips that I'm just using the end of the plier so you can use a flathead screwdriver for you just push on that side and then there's one on this side in the same position and that just pops away and then that gives you access to this screw right here okay and once you take this top piece off right here you'll be able to take out the three screws there's one screw down in there which I already took out there's another screw right there which I already took out and then there's one hiding back here which is gonna be tough to get to you gotta get a small screwdriver and get in there from between that uh, plastic piece right there and take that screw out and then once you take all those screws out the entire unit is loose and you can lift it out just by kind of wiggling it and you can move these pads out of the way if you need to I'm going to show you how these are in there so I want to take those out but just wiggle it loose and pull it out towards the front like that and then once you get all that out you can you know clean that up and the pads here are actually there's uh, I think three of them in there you can pull these out there's a thing here and then there's one back down under here and you pull these out I've already cleaned these so I don't get my hands all dirty this they're kind of folded up in here so I'm going to show you how they went in there's one pad that goes all the way across the bottom and that just sits in there like that then this one unfolds to two halves the bottom half this one folds under like that and then the top half of course is the the black one here and then there's one here that also folds in half like this and the way that is attached to this one is there's these three little pieces sticking out here and it sits in between or in here like this and that's the way the pads sit in there so once you get them all cleaned up and everything you can just put them back together and put them back in there and pretty much reassemble it in the reverse order so thanks for, thanks for watching